So we're here at the Arm TechCon 2010. And what is that? It's an ARM technology conference where we're showing off a lot of ARM-based products. Uh, here what we're showing is a robot system based on the Marvell plug computer system. And it's a 1.2 gigahertz computer based on a uh, Armada chipset. And we're running a robotics platform that's running Linux and we're wirelessly controlling it over Wi-Fi. And uh, we're here with Oracle showing Java Standard Edition running on these embedded systems. So here's the camera and the robot. Yeah, this is a, a camera interface mounted on the robotics platform, and we have we have a wireless interface that's able to uh, access that camera data from remote devices like smartphones and a laptop computer. Good. So, is it like a you call it the Revo? Do you say one? Yeah. So our the first Revo. Yeah. This is uh, a, well, it's called the Revo One. This is about a third generation product that we've been building, and it uses. Uh, wireless and robotic technologies that we've been developing to uh, let you build and control robotic systems. Cool, so you can control it with a laptop or smartphone or... Right, and, and this is a really simple interface that was written in Java very quickly and we have uh, Java applications that we've written for the robotic system that's running on the robot and it's showing how you can use these tools that integrate really well together to develop applications. Uh, for embedded systems. Cool. So uh, you could basically remote control a robot the other side of the planet, or uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a standard Wi-Fi, and so you're able to use uh, it, your home network connection and a wireless system, and then you could control this pretty much from anywhere. So is it a product? Is, can people buy it? Or? Um, yeah, right. It was built as a research platform to teach students about uh, computer vision and programming. But we're integrating this with our partners with Marvell and Oracle to turn this into a consumer-level product. So. How, how much do you think it will cost? What would you like to see the price be? Uh, we'd, we'd like to see it in the, the two to $300 price range. So I think that would make it available to a lot of uh, consumers and, and uh, let people be creative and have fun with robotics. Uh, but there's going to be a, a, a number of different uh, products and different kind of systems that will open up the door to uh, let other people at different levels take our software embedded into their own robotic systems and uh, hopefully be creative and build all kinds of fun stuff using our products. So. How long does the battery last? Um, on this system the battery lasts about uh, four to six hours depending on usage. Can I lift yeah, it? Yeah, go ahead. So, four to five hours of, of driving? Yeah. Or like on? Uh, no, it's uh, four to five hours kind of uh, driving. So driving doesn't actually take that, that much power. They're, they're very low, low power motors. It uh, lets you work on it for quite a bit of time and uh, makes it really easy to... So, okay. There's a, also the app on the, on the iPhone. Yeah, so this is a smartphone application and we're able to use uh, controls on here to control the robot. Nice. So you would uh, provide the app for people who buy the robot? Yeah, the app The app is an example of how you can control the robot, but you can use this to uh, control other peripherals that can be attached to the robot as well. Are you going to like stream back the video there in the app as well? Uh, we're working on that. That's our next step so that you can see the video while you drive it. Um, but it lets you have precision controls which you don't necessarily find on other robotic platforms. So, cool. Thanks. All right. Thank you.